everyone, Kiwi King 77 here, here to do a video showing you how to install a modem on your AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note i717. So, first of all, let's go ahead and check and see what uh, modem we are running right now on our Note. So you can go ahead and go down to About Phone in Settings, and under Baseband Version, the last four digits where you see it says UCLF6, that's letting you know what modem you're running. You're running the UCLF6 modem, which is the latest as of this video, which is today's is 20, 27th today. So the latest modem as of the 27th would be the ice cream sandwich UCLF6 modem. Um, modems, it, it basically, you can't say one is better than the other because each phone handles the modem differently. What a modem can handle is things such as signal strength, uh, data speeds, potentially GPS as well. So essentially the radios of the device is kind of what these modem updates can handle. So um, you kind of want to test them out for yourself. What's best to do is to install one, maybe try it out for a day or two, see how it works, see how it uh, handles day to day every normal stuff and then go ahead and try a different one and find out which one works best for you. There are multiple ones. What you can do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video will take you to this site right here. Huge shout out and thanks to Flapjacks for throwing this thread together for us and putting all these downloads here. Uh, you will see modem downloads the latest one you see LF6 right there, which is, as I show, said previously, it is the latest. You do have older ones, uh, which is probably what you're gonna wanna try out if you wanna try older ones. Um, feel free to, you can try out any of them. You can even use gingerbread modems while running an ice cream sandwich ROM. They are cross compatible with modems. Uh, so be sure to click on whichever one you wanna try out, whether you wanna try out all of them, go ahead and download all of them. If you wanna always make sure that you can get back to the latest one, download this as well. But download whichever ones you wanna download and they will be zip files. Transfer the zip files over to your device, whether it be the internal or external storage, it does not matter. Don't unzip it, but just transfer the zip files over to your device. Once you've done so, go back to your phone. And once you've downloaded whatever modem you wanted to try out for yourself, whether it be all of them or just a couple, and transfer them on and over to your phone, we're going to need to go ahead and get into our custom recovery. So, power it off. If you're running a ROM, you can just hit Reboot Recovery if it has that option. Mm -hmm. All right, so once your phone is fully powered off, we're going to need to get into our custom recovery. To do so, press and hold volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Keep it held down until the Samsung screen lights up. Go ahead and let go once it does. And then what that's gonna do is reboot us into our custom recovery. All right, and now that it uh, has booted into our custom recovery, as you can see, Clockwork Mod 5.0.4 right here. So we are now booted into our custom recovery. What we're gonna need to do to install the modem is it's very easy, actually. You can go ahead and go down to, I recommend wiping your cache first. Go ahead and go to wipe cache and hit yes and let that wipe. That's the first thing I recommend. Once that's done, go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache. Just to be safe, that's what I always recommend doing before you install a modem. Uh, you, you shouldn't necessarily have to, but that's what I recommend. Then once you've wiped cache and Dalvik cache, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card, wherever you transfer that modem on over to. And then go ahead and select whatever modem you want to install. I'm gonna go ahead and install the UCLF5 modem. Select that and hit yes, install. So it'll go ahead and put me on a, a previous modem, the UCLF5 as opposed to UCLF6. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time. It'll go ahead and install the, and write the modem to our device. I will be back once it's done. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. It did not take long at all. And once done, just hit go back and then reboot system now and uh, go ahead and let our Galaxy Note, AT&T Galaxy Note, go ahead and reboot. Um, once it boots up, we will be running that uh, new modem. I guess you could say new, it could be older modem, but you can try out the new modem now. Before, uh, while this does boot up, I do wanna make a quick note. Huge thanks to Michael from Flag Group for sending me this device to do videos for and show you guys this stuff. Um, definitely be sure to check out a, a Fly Group if you have a Galaxy Note because it makes things so much easier using it, holding it. Uh, as you can see throughout the video, I'm using it as a kickstand as well. It works horizontal and vertical. Uh, you get a free case as well. So definitely be sure to check out Fly Grip. I will post links in the description. But I'm going to let this boot up. It will take a little bit longer since we wiped Dalvik cache, but I will be back once it's booted up. 
All right, so my note has booted back up. We can go ahead and now just make sure that the modem installed correctly. So we can go ahead and go down about phone under about phone under baseband version. You will see it now it says UCLF5 right there as opposed to UCLF6. So we know it, it uh, installed successfully. Again, run through and test it yourself. I can't tell you which one's best for me. I haven't really fully tested all of them yet. So uh, be sure to test them all yourself. Let me know, uh, you can leave a comment, let us know which modem you like the best, which one runs the best on your device. It is different based on each device. So there you have it. That's how to install a modem on your AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.